Hey there guys, yours almighty here. Welcome to the new session called Blast from the Past. In this session, we play old and classic games which made our childhood awesome. And I will play and share my memories and thoughts as we go along. If you want me to play any game from your childhood, please mention that in the comments, then I will play that for you in the next upcoming video. Enough of our chit chat, let's get to it already. Today we are going to play Hamster Ball. Hamster Ball was released for Windows platform back in 2004 by Raptisoft Games and for PlayStation 3 in 2010 by Tick Games. As you can see, it's a hamster in a plastic ball. The player controls a hamster in a clear plastic ball. Obviously, the player can control the hamster using the mouse or using the keyboard or in the case of PlayStation, your controller. The goal is to complete a series of race courses as soon as possible while avoiding various obstacles before the time runs out. At the beginning of each course, extra time will be added to the player's clock. You have to complete the course before the time runs out or else you lose buddy. The graphics and the mechanics are pretty simple guys and trust me, sometimes simple does the job. Now, I would anytime prefer a game with decent graphics and awesome gameplay over a game with extraordinary graphics and hours and hours of pointless gameplay. I mean what's the point? This game can be considered as a spiritual successor of an old arcade game called Marble Man as released back in 1984. It was designed by Mark Cerny and published by Atari Games. It was way ahead of its time, you know. It was known for using innovative game technologies. It was first of Ataris to use the Atari system on hardware, first to use the C programming language, and one of the first to use stereo sound. Every other game until this was using simulator stereo. This was a true game to use actual stereo sound. How cool was that? Talking about the gameplay, the player controls the marble by using the trackball. You know, the mouse back down the ball. The player controls and guide the marble through a six courses populated with obstacles and enemies within a time limit. Ring a bell. You see, Hamster Ball did exactly the same for changing the premise. Where there was a marble, here there's a character, the hamster, in a plastic ball with a different cost to signs and sounds and stuff. But hey, good old game is always a good old game. I personally came across this game back in 2011 or 12. There was the time me and my brother took a Photoshop course in Jackson in my town. And they had some pretty good games installed in their computer. After doing all the tasks they gave us, me and my brother played it all the time. That's where I found this gem. I pretty much sucked at it. Not that many great now. There was always another player who put me to shame in this game. Yeah, you might think that was my brother, right? That's where we're wrong. It was actually a tutor there. I clearly remember him still. Every other tutors were wearing formals, and he was wearing jeans and shirts with bizarre design. He was a stud. You know, he was completely standing out from all the guys in that center. I would be playing and completely sucking at it. He would stand beside me and give me a pathetic look like. Dude, come on, seriously? After that, he would take control of the computer and start playing. You guys should see him playing. He absolutely nails this game. I mean, not only this game. He absolutely nailed every single game in that PC. Once after we completed our course, I think the center was transferred to some other place. I wonder where he is. If you have any memory from this game, please do share in the comments. Alright my fellow knights, that's it for today, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a thumb, share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I will see you guys in another video, until then, keep rocking.